Hey everybody, welcome to Gluten Free For All TV. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the most amazing gluten-free pizza crust using caputo flour and an uni pizza oven. I'm also gonna make a version using my conventional oven and my pizza stone. Now I know in previous videos, I've always been an advocate of using different types of gluten-free flours, but I have discovered this Caputo Gluten-Free Zero Zero Flour, which is absolutely amazing when it comes to making pizzas. It is hands down the closest thing to conventional flour that I've ever come across. So I highly recommend you going out of your way to find some of this. Okay, so let's start making our dough. First off, we want to start with 500 grams of Caputo Zero Zero gluten-free flour. Now I'm making my dough using my mixer, but you can also make it by hand. So add the flour to your bowl and then add 10 grams of instant dry yeast to about 14.1 ounce or 400 grams of lukewarm water. Give it a little shiggle and let it work its magic. Now, add 15 grams of olive oil to the yeast mixture. And now for the final ingredient, salt. We need about 17 grams of salt. Now it's important, don't add this to your yeast, but actually add it to your flour and give it a good mix through so it's evenly distributed. Okay, it's looking good. So now finally we add our liquid to our flour and turn on the mixer and let it run for about 10 minutes. What you'll end up with is an incredibly soft, silky dough. So now what we need to do is form a dough ball. So we're gonna put some of this lovely, silky, soft flour on our countertop, and we're gonna remove the dough from the bowl, and we're gonna slowly move it around, knead it slightly, make sure that it's not sticking to your hands, and form a really nice, soft ball. This is already a wet dough, so you don't want to add more water to your hands to help it stop from sticking. But what I have done is add a little bit of olive oil to my hands, so it'll just prevent the dough from sticking and give it an extra smooth feel. So there you go, look at that. You never see gluten-free dough this stretchy or this soft. It's absolutely amazing. So now we just have to let the dough set and rise for about two hours, cover it with some cling film, and put it in a nice warm place. Now the one thing I didn't notice when I was making this recipe is that my yeast was well beyond its expiry date. And because we're in lockdown, because of the COVID-19, I wasn't able to get out and get some new yeast. So normally the dough would rise a lot more than it is shown here. So don't worry, it's going to rise amazingly well if you use proper yeast that's actually within the expiry date. So all you have to do now is break the ball into four little balls, set aside, and let double in size. So for about an hour. Now this dough is amazing to work with. So all you need to do is flour a wooden pizza peel or your countertop, whichever you prefer, and then slowly start stretching the dough ball out from the center. Now, you can't lift it up and stretch it around like a conventional dough. It will tear and break, but you'd be surprised of how sturdy this dough actually is. So you can see here, I'm just pushing it from the inside out, and the outside of the crust is nice and round, almost like you see in a regular pizza. Like You hardly ever see a nice round crust on a gluten-free pizza dough. So this first pizza I'm gonna cook on my pizza stone in my conventional oven. So the stone is super, super hot. I've set the temperature of the oven to full blast and it's been heating for about 20 minutes. So now is the fun part, adding your toppings. I love to use Muti pizza sauce. It's one of my favorites. So you don't wanna to put too much sauce on your pizza because you don't wanna make it soggy but you I mean you can use crushed tomatoes, you can use pizza sauce. You don't even have to have pizza sauce actually. Put on whatever you like. Finally, I'm gonna give it a nice sprinkle of mozzarella cheese, or you can use bocconcini cheese as well. It's your pizza, whatever you want. Now finally, give the pizza a bit of a shiggle on your pizza board, just so it comes free. That way, it's ready to launch onto your pizza stone. 
Now even though this particular pizza didn't rise a lot, I was still really happy with the dough. The bottom of the pizza crust was nice and crispy and cooked right through. Now the other day I made a version in my Uni outdoor wood-fired pizza oven and it turned out amazing. Now if you haven't checked out Uni, look at the affiliate link below. If you guys want to take your pizza making skills to the next level, Uni Pizza Ovens is definitely a wise investment. If you liked that video and you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching!